G'day, hello, and here I am in the beautiful city of Adelaide. Today, you and me, we're going to go and check out a little snorkeling spot called Port Norlunga. You and me, today, we're going to go take a train to a little snorkeling spot called Port Norlunga. Now, I've had to do a little bit of research about Port Norlunga, uh, and it seems like there isn't a lot of uh, things in the way of facilities to protect your valuables out there. So that means I'm gonna take the train there. I'm gonna take my Carso camera only. So I'm not gonna take this camera that I'm talking to you now. I'm not gonna take my good camera. So um, please bear with me the fact that I'm going there to snorkel. Uh, and uh, you know, obviously the Carso, I can show you a few things with the Carso, uh, but it won't be quite as, the quality won't be quite as good. Uh, and I'll just leave all my valuables here. I'll just take uh, a card that I can uh, put in the Ziploc bag and stick in my wetsuit and a towel and, and whatever I need. And basically we'll just do a, a run up there, snorkel, come back. Anyways, let's rock and roll the baby. Anyways, let's do it. Okay, to Port Nolanga. How many options do I need? Well folks, as you can see, I'm already geared up. But here I am basically, not quite in Central Adelaide. I've got to take a tram to a train and then a train out to Port Norlunga. So, um, We'll see how it all goes. I'm taking the barest minimum with me. The system of um, trams, trains and buses. Uh, we're on the tram obviously right now. We're going through the centre. We're going to get to the uh, Adelaide Railway Station. Uh, might require a little walk because I took the wrong tram, but that, that's okay. Uh, only a few hundred metres I think and um, yeah and in this zone, in the central zone it's actually free uh, the tram, so that's really nice Okay, successfully navigated the trams, and now it's time for the train. Got my ticket in my bag there. We're on Seaford, it's departing at 11.35, so we've got 19 minutes. Hello. Not too bad. The same ticket on the tram is good for the train, yeah? Absolutely. It's an all day ticket, great. This is the South Australian train for you. They're, um, obviously they're doing their thing. They're, clean, they're giving it a good clean. And, um, Good to see them giving it a good clean. We're living in these COVID times. And um, at the moment, there's pretty much no one in it. Our journey, folks, from Adelaide to Norlunga Junction.
Cheers. Nice to meet you guys. Always. Diving. Okay, well if you see uh if you see a story on the news tonight about a man who got mauled by a shark that no longer you'll know who it was. Who it was, that's right. Yeah, I know that guy. Doesn't yeah. have a leg anymore. Yeah. So I hear the, the left side is if you is around the jetty on the left side of the pier, there's a lot of fish and stuff. So that was what I was just gonna keep to that area. Yeah. Does that sound about right? The reef. I don't think I'll even get to the reef. The reef's 400 metres away, yeah? It's yeah? Way out of yeah, so I'm yeah. not going to go. Yeah. So the reef protects the bay from sharks. Sure. I'm at Norlunga, folks. At the train station, I've got to make my way to the beach. Whew. So, um... Yeah. Don't actually need that. Um, just been told, watch out for sharks. But uh, if you don't swim outside the reef, you should be okay, perfectly safe. There are some buses over there. Let's see. Okay, the bus is done. Uh, some of the views are amazing. I just don't know if I can show you on this camera. Uh, wow, it's really beautiful. Really beautiful beach. I uh, got a little bit of a walk now to get to the pier. That's where I catch the bus over there on the way back to the station. I've got to head down to the end of the pier and uh, pop in the water.
Well, that's done. I was really swimming against quite a strong, uh, there's a strong breeze out here, and um, it was really, really tough going. Um, well, we saw some fish, we saw some reefs. Uh, I didn't drown, so tick, 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 I'd say. It's been a success over here. For the lovely Sir Frisky people. Thank you so much. See you on YouTube. <laughs> Thanks everyone. Bye. Cheers. They looked after my bag. It was very kind of them. Very, very kind of them and they told me exactly where I needed to snorkel, which is what I had read, but um, it's always good to actually hear somebody at the spot tell you. That folks was my little trip down to Norlunga for a little bit of a snorkel. Final thoughts. Uh, I was hoping to see more than I did, I'll be honest. Um, there were a lot of fish directly underneath the pier. But then as soon as I sort of swam a bit outside the pier, which was against the wind and against the flow of the water, um, there were no fish there at all. I think they were probably sheltering because the water was moving quite um, strongly in one direction, which I found very hard to work against. Um, when I first got in, the water was seemed freezing, but then, as usual, after five minutes, didn't notice it at all. Uh, and look, I've got a feeling that on a good day, when the water's a lot more still, you'll see a lot more fish around those reefs. So, all in all, I think it was probably a pretty good uh, little site for snorkeling, considering that um, there's not a lot of options in South Australia these days at the moment. And, uh, yeah, what can I say? Anyway, I want to thank you for joining me in my little vlog down to Norlunga, going for a little snorkel. Take care wherever you are. See you next time. May the journey never end.